Hi guys, welcome back. Sim UK here. This is of course Fishing North Atlantic and we're going to do some lobster fishing today. We're going to follow the tutorial and then we'll probably take it on ourselves. We're going to test the tutorial first and see how much money we get back off this. We don't want a repercussion of uh, a repercussion, a, a recreation of the uh, long line scenario or debacle as it should be called. Go to the fish market and select fishing gear. Uh huh. Fish market, fishing gear. Buy three small pots and buy three unbaited pots. One, two, three. Buy bait and buy two frozen bait blocks. Two frozen bait blocks. Okay, press escape or return. New mission. Tutorial. Lobster. Drive away from the docking area. Understood. I'm in full reverse. I don't know how I hit that, but whatever. We did. Oh my gosh. So close, so close, so close. Ooh. Wow. You can open the map to see your marked area and follow the marker on top of your screen in third person mode. An irregular habitat has been spotted and a marker has been set. Head over there for your first haul. An irregular habitat? Regular habitat. Hmm. Fair enough. Where, 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 where? Oh, deep, deep out. Oh man, uh, this has got to return some good profits. You're going this deep into the ocean. You want some returns. Plus, as, as I have said in a previous video, if you've ever had good lobster, <laughs> then you know why lobster is expensive. And if they're this far out at sea, then you also know why it's this expensive. Okay, I'm a little bit concerned, chaps. Because one thing I didn't do was check our fuel situation. We just found Toby! And the boat is now available to us, that's very cool. Um, okay, look, I'm sorry, we're going to have to take a quick detour here because I have no fuel. Totally my fault. Completely my fault. I don't even know if we're going to make it, guys. Look how much fuel we have left. <laughs> yeah, that was close. Okay, I've got a little question for you, right? If we run out of fuel now, and we need to be towed back to shore like a hundred feet, surely the price would be different. Am I right? Surely the price would be different. It'd be like a thousand instead of eight thousand. It must be. It must be. I hope they've thought about that. I hope they have. I'm not testing it, just, just in case you're wondering. I'm not going to test it. Oh, the FPS is absolutely abhorrent. So, let's get ourselves some fuel. And I'm thinking about upgrading this engine. Goodness me, okay. Really hope they fix this um, 
stability problem before the game gets released. It's it's not unplayable, but it's darn close to it. Bearing in mind, I've dropped all my my settings down to medium already. I don't want to go any lower than that. All right, got some markers in the water, and I'm going to sneeze. Hit you! Say bless you in chat. Sorry about that. <laughs> Okay, slightly off point. But we're pretty much alone out here. There's one ship off to our starboard side. I think it's a ship. I keep forgetting to buy binoculars. I can't see a damn thing with these silly binoculars. My daughter has a fantastic pair of kids' binoculars, four times zoom. Oh dear. You know, I didn't save the game before I came out of port. I knew I should have done. It looks like we've crashed. Now, what should happen is it should save every time you go to the port. So, I'm hoping that when we went to get fuel, the game has saved. Because this looks like it's very much crashed. I think, do you know what, I, th I think there's a memory leak. It very much looks like a memory leak. It just gets worse and worse and worse and worse until it crashes. Okay, looks like we're on the lobster mission. Let's just check we have some fuel. Excellent. Alrighty. Let's go. And you can see the performance is much, much better now. The FPS problems have stopped, so there's definitely something going on there. And um, I think if I just play for 10, 20 minutes and then restart the game, it'll probably run just fine. Which is not ideal, but you've got to understand that this is not the full release. This is uh, development. Still in beta. Well, we got the new engine, or do we? I can't remember if we got the new engine. I don't think we have the new engine. I think we've gone back to the old engine. It's a little disappointing. Oh dear. Oh dear. It looks like the tutorial itself is bugged. And that's a big problem. Because I didn't save the game before I started this tutorial, I'm now locked in it. I can't get out of this tutorial. I did send them an email and say that this is what happened on the last tutorial. I got caught in a loop. I couldn't get out of the tutorial. So it just constantly forced me to complete the tutorial, which meant I lost all of my ships, all of my money, and my entire career. And it looks like the same thing has happened. Ah, oh, that is a real shame. Right, well, I'm going to have to email them and tell them that this is happening and um, just hope I can get this career back online again because that's twice this has happened to me and that's part of beta testing, so I'm not, I'm not annoyed about it having happened, but I am frustrated because I've already spoken to them about giving us the option of cancelling out of a tutorial and at the moment at least, I don't think you can do it. I'm going to have a quick look and see if you can. But definitely this is bugged. Right, okay, let's just check this out. Maintenance. Fuel is definitely done. Uh, upgrades. Engine. So we've upgraded that. A tutorial lobster. I think this is going to be a problem. Um, cancel mission. Ah, there we go. 
Thank goodness for that. Right. Well, in that case, what we're going to do is we're going to buy some stuff. So that's the maximum num number of pots we can have. Oh, no, we don't want to sell them. We want to bait them. So you currently have two out of a maximum of five. So we've got five lobster pot bait frozen thingies. Um, let's check to see whether our crew are still on board. So we've got one crew member. We've got Rudy Smith. I'm not sure what happened to the other one. Let's uh, let's grab somebody cheap. It's very expensive when you got to pay him fifteen thousand every time. So okay, we got two people on board now. They'll take two point three percent of the cut. If you pay a yearly fee, charged monthly, you can receive all rescue toes for free. All other rescue towing will be charged 8,000 per tow, regardless of where you are, even if you're only five feet away from the dock. <laughs> um, okay. So you only have to run out of fuel twice and you've, you've saved money there. So it makes sense to do that, doesn't it? Do it. Just do it, man. And let's get some insurance as well. There we go, that's that done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come out, I'm going to go back in. That should create a game save. And then I'm going to save another one over the top. So we go slot 9, slot 1. And hopefully, that will put us in good stead. Okay, let's go see if we can figure out how to do lobster fishing. Lobster pot fishing. Definitely, this upgraded engine feels a little bit better. It's still a slow, laborious ship, but at least it moves now. So... Where was that point? It was there. Look, it's still there. Isn't that interesting? I'm a bit nervous to go there, but let's go there. <laughs> because I've got a sneaky suspicion that we might find some, cra some crabs or some lobsters even. In that very spot. Could be. Couldn't they? It's not, it's not a ridiculous uh, theory. So this is the really deep water, and they're actually in fairly shallow water. That can't be four meters deep. No, that's more like a hundred meters or something. Right, so where's that marker? Let's not go to the marker. I just want to fish around it. So there's the marker. I think that marker is bugged. I'm not going to go there. But let's see if we can figure out how to do this. So if we bring up the map and go to the wiki, we go to fishing tools, let's go down to lobster. The large lobster is caught almost exclusively with lobster pots. These are large rigid objects which the lobster enters voluntarily, often to reach the bait and which it then cannot escape from. Lobster pots can either be wire or wood or metal and netting. Traditionally, a lobster pot has two compartments. The kitchen, where the bait bag is located. When the lobster tries to leave the trap, it follows a funnel-shaped net and lands in the bedroom or a parlor where the lobsters are then caught. They are often hard to catch in large numbers, but their large size can make them a profitable catch. Okay, so you can place up to 20 pots per string. So what I do is I just add them to the string and then I bait them individually and then I prepare them and then I chuck them in. And off 
as they go, like that. <laughs> ah, how to use single lobster pots. I think this is us. We're doing single lobster pot. So you pick up the frozen bait, place it in the bait cutter, cut the bait. I'm not sure we have a bait cutter, do we? That's pretty cool. Pick up a lobster pot. Place the lobster pot on the table. Pick up a bait bag and put it in the pot. Okay, then what? And then set it. Wow, you don't put you don't put a boy on it or anything? Oh, there is a boy on it. That's weird. Okay, then. Let's have a go at this. Uh, how very exciting. So there's the cutter. So if I open the freezer, grab some frozen stuff. And which way round do I do this? It is that way. Hey, this is pretty cool. Nice. Okay, so we got some prepared stuff. Pick up a pot. Put the pot on the table. Bag it up. Bag it up. Bag it up. Bait the pot. All animated. All looking good. I don't know what that is. That doesn't do anything. And then we just set it. Fantastic. Look at that. Got a little light on it and everything. Right, let's just make sure. Yeah, we're going forwards. There's nothing in front of us. We can't hit anything. Let's get some lobster pots in the ground. In the sea, rather. Too close to that one, it says. Okay. This is pretty cool. I'm going to see if I can get my crew to do this for me. But I rather suspect they're going to do the same thing as before, which is like... They'll start doing it, and then they'll stop right when it gets to the point where... Uh, they need to uh, chuck it in. So is he going to do it? Did he do that, or did I do that? He definitely moved, didn't he? Oh yes, he's got another one on the go. He's baiting it up. Now we could have a problem here, because if I can't put that down, or I can put it down, that's fine then. Now, will he chuck that in himself? Can't do it yet, we're too close. So as soon as that, as soon as that uh, thing disappears, so now he can do it. Okay, I happen to be pressing the button then. So I still don't know if he did it or I did it. So this time I'm just going to leave him to it. See what he does. Is he going to chuck it in or have I got to chuck it in for him? If he chucks it in himself, then I'm going to do a lot of lobster fishing. That just seems a lot better. A lot more fun. Come on, it's got to be about now, dude. Yeah, he does it himself. Brilliant. So I can just um, go full bore and watch the man do his job. Fantastic. I love that. That's awesome. Sure, there's nothing in front of us. We're getting some FPS drops again. This is definitely uh, something they're working on. So, as frustrating as it is, I'm sure it'll be ready by the time the game's released. And like I say, if you watch my previous videos, you'll know that this wasn't an issue. So, um, I think it's just a temporary problem. And if you zoom out, it definitely helps the FPS situation. As I understand it, it's the part of the water particles for the jet stream and the wake that's causing this issue. It's 
to work in progress. Do you see how we struggled to get over that wave then? That's beautiful. I'm really hoping we get some seriously dangerous, dangerously big waves. That's what I want to see. Two pots left. Where did he get that pot from? I thought that was the last one. This must be the last one. And I don't know what these are for. I, I guess this is where we put them when we catch them. Yeah, I'm really excited to see what we catch here, guys. That'd be awesome. Good job. Excellent. Any more? Have you finished? Great work. Well done. Right, so we got 12 pots in the water and we are going to let's go up here let's go and uh, discover an undiscovered location and i think there's a few ships that we can discover whoops a few ships that we can discover in this area so okay if, if i press m it immediately stops so that's good so if i see something important we'll press m There's a ship in the way, look. Look at this guy. Get out of the goddamn way, dude! Where's my horn? There is a horn. No? There you go. Arr! Take that. Stupid little boat. I used to have a boat like that, then I grew up. I told him. That told him. He won't be making that mistake again. <laughs> okay, so my finger is poised over the M button because I know there's something in the vicinity. Somewhere, somewhere. Okay, I don't know anything. I don't know a goddamn thing. I don't know what I've been told. Okay, now this is quite a tricky bit stretch of water because there's an opening that's not particularly wide. There you go, see, look. Now I can see it quite a bit better with the graphics as they are now, but when you've got graphics on full, whoops. When you've got the graphics on full, everything's really shiny except for the things that you need to see and they're kind of invisible. And you'll notice that that harbor wall is not on the map. <laughs> Uh, which is a bit of a problem. It's not a massive problem, just a bit of a problem. Oh, we are close to that. Don't want to get any closer than that. If you're listening in stereo, I don't like it when it does this. It really hurts my ears. The um, the audio on the side away from the engine drops way too much. It's not natural. It does not feel good to me. Or sound good to me, I should say. Oh. Oh, the FPS problems. Oof. Right, so I've no idea how long we're supposed to leave the pots out there. Not a clue. Let's just make sure we've got fuel. Let's go have a look at the shipyard and see what ships they've got. Oh, nice. An ocean runner for 695,000. The ocean runner is a big line and net boat. It can also be rigged for deep line and lobster fishing. Nice. Storage size, 30,000 kilograms. Maximum storage size, 60,000. 
four crew members. This is nice. This might be. This might very well be our next target. At six hundred ninety-five thousand. Let me just double check that. Six hundred ninety-five thousand. We can buy that now. We can ditch the boat we've got and get this thing. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to save. Because I'm concerned that if we switch boats, then the lobster pots we've just put out there are going to disappear. Among other other concerns. Uh, okay, let's go slot eight. do something like that okay right let's see if we can do this then so we're gonna dock we can go to the shipyard and we're gonna buy this badass <laughs> very nice very nice indeed okay good so if we go to town crew for hire that's gonna get expensive isn't it uh, 19 thou, 25 thou, 26 thou. Okay, cool. We've maxed out. So if we go to upgrades, oh, actually, let's do let's do that thing I keep saying I'm going to do and not doing. Where's the shop? Let's go for the binoculars. Military grade, 10 times zoom. That's that done. I won't forget to do that now. Hook. Let's go for the upgraded hook so we get 8% bigger fish. Knife. Let's go for. Wow, look at that. It's like a flipping. I can't think of the name of it. Fill in the blanks here, guys. A very ancient sword. Uh, like a scabbard, that kind of thing. Um, okay, dock. Uh, so the rigging. What are we rigged for? We're rigged for long line. We need to be rigged for lobster. <laughs> no. No, we do not want to do that tutorial. <laughs> Thank you for asking. Okay. Um, right. Keep your fingers crossed, guys. Yes, they're still there. Beautiful. Okay, well, that's an improvement over the last game. I'm going to have to be really careful of that. If I accidentally stray into that, we're going to have problems. So how long they've been out there? Seven hours. So let's have a little kip. Four. Actually, that's that's nice, isn't it? That's nice. Oh, this is that's a proper captain's. Look at this. You can see why I can't wait until we've got the steering wheel and the throttle combo available to us. That's going to be amazing fun. Happy Canada Day. With my new super duper binoculars, I can see into the future, which is right, right handy. What's this do? Oh, I can open the freezer door from inside. <laughs> yeah, sure, that's the thing. I can open the door, I can open that door. What else can I do? Can I turn the lights on? Where are the light switches? I know they're here somewhere. There we go. Yeah, we got a few issues with the lighting in this game, it's fair to say. There's all this cool stuff, but we can't do anything with it. But this is a proper boat now. This is this is no longer messing around, isn't it? It's a shame, because in Fishing Barren Sea, you could actually go around the ship and you could see all the different rooms. This is where the crew will, will I, I guess, appear from. But maybe not, because there's all this stuff in the way. But who knows? Right, so I'm just going to go back into port so that the game will also save. And then we'll go have a kit. Let's do five hours. And we'll have a look at the map. Hmm, still red. They've been in the water for 12 hours. Maybe we get, maybe we want to 
do more like 20 hours. So let's do another five hours. Look at the map. Oh, we've got some green. Now, has that gone green after going blue, or is it on its way to blue? I don't know. Let's get our asses out there and we'll find out. So, can I navigate my way out of that very tight area? Yeah, I'm a little concerned that we're going to stray into that, into that, which causes a lot of problems. Hopefully not. Right, so, the Ocean Runner, we have to actually reverse out of here. Unlike every other port that we've been to, where we can just flat out go. You can't see the props on this one. Oh, you can underneath there, look. cool ship. I like this one a lot. I'm actually fond of this one. I'd like to keep it. God, I wish I had a steering wheel. Do you know, I could probably hook something up that allows me to use a steering wheel on this game. I might see if I can do it for release day, just as a, a demonstration of how cool it is. That is a nice ship, I like that. I haven't looked, but I'd, I'd really like to be able to repaint it. It's something we definitely need in a game like this, is the ability to create skins, create company logos, all that sort of good stuff. Well, I didn't do the radar upgrade, that's probably why we're not seeing whatever is in this area. There's like a, a sunken ship or something over here, if memory serves. I could be getting it muddled up with this, I don't know. Ah, uh, they're all going blue now, look. No, they've all gone from blue to green. Bugger. Uh-oh. Perilously close. Right, chaps. Oh, look at this. Pothole. Sort crabs? I don't really know how to do this. Who's best at this, anyway? Ah, net hauling. Pot hauling, that's what we want. We want somebody who's good at pot hauling. Why why do these keep switching? It's at the top now. This one's at the top. Why is this one at the bottom? That's so awkward. Just makes my life that much more difficult. None of these guys are any good at potholing. Oh, actually, he's not bad. Derek Clark. Which one is Derek Clark? They've all, they've all got the same faces, if you look. I know they're slightly different actually, I tell a lie. So Derek Clark. Uh, is is that the guy? Why does why, where's all the info gone? That's so random. Well I think it was Derek Clark who uh, was good at hauling pots. Oh, there we go. I'm sure that's a bug. Okay. Uh, how do I get rid of this? Let's do this, gentlemen. Let's do it, do it, do it. So I'm not hauling it in myself right now. I'm going to let them do it. Maybe.
maybe I'll do the last couple. But I want to see if they can do it first. That's an interesting week. This is definitely a better ship than the one we just had. Here comes the pot. And he's doing something or other. Oh, I bet you... Oh, this is cool. I bet you we have to sort them out. Because you're not allowed to take female lobsters, are you? Or is that just crabs? I'm not sure. But I'm pretty sure you can't take lobsters that are smaller than a certain size. I could be totally wrong on both counts. I don't know everything about fishing, believe it or not. But it would make sense if that were the case. Ah. Okay, well that's a slight problem. Why? Why did you not haul in the pot? Because he's still sorting out the crabs, is that why? Well, the lobsters, hopefully. I don't mind if we have a few crabs in there. So he looks like he's hauling it in. But he definitely wasn't. No fish were caught. What? 126.9 kilograms of fish was successfully caught. That's not confusing at all. So theoretically we could bait and set the pot at the same time and he could cook. Let's just do all of these things and uh, just get the crew doing something rather than nothing. No fish were caught. Why? Uh, you know what's going to happen? They're all going to be empty because we've left it that little bit too long. going to be a pain in the ass. No fish were caught. Well, ah, balls. We have to try again. Maybe rather than going back to port, we'll just anchor out here. This has been a smidge anticlimactic, hasn't it? Just one successful pot so far, that's really not good. Have I got to press the button, or does he press the button? Because I was pretty sure he was doing it. See, he did that. I did not do that. Maybe I was going a little bit too fast. Let's just try and slow down for this one. But I don't think we're going to catch anything in any of these, which is a real pain in the ass. Yeah, okay, so I've got to stop by the pot, it looks like. I can't keep going, so I have to stop next to each one. Which makes sense, because he's got to pull it quite far up, I guess. Ah, we've actually caught something this time, have we? Or have I just moved too far back? Uh, 
Ah, blast. I could cheat. I could reload the save game that I have when I was at port before I sped up time. I'm not going to, but I could. It's an option. It's taking a bit longer with this one. Absolute disaster. It says I can't. Uh, I guess they're using the uh, using the table we need. What's that? that in the water oh, I like how it's in the kitchen can I not get up on the top there oh that's a little disappointing I wanted to get out on the front there was something in the water then wasn't there what was it something out there I don't know what it is uh, probably tuna let's just whack that there as a reminder okay so another failed pot collection lobster fishing I think is going to be tricky it's probably going to be quite valuable if you get it right but if you get it wrong Holy macaroni. Yeah, that definitely looks like tuna to me. No fish were caught. Well, he, I tell you what, he pulled that in bloody quick, didn't he? Some of them he takes forever. Definitely tuna, right? What was the pot there? Ah, crap. No fish were caught, low population. So, my brilliant idea about fishing around this thing has not worked out particularly well. Maybe that was part of the tutorial. Maybe part of the tutorial says... Uh, there's no fish here. Or there's no uh, lobster here. Oh, God damn it. I think we're going to have to get some nets on this thing. The only way we're going to make any serious money. This is right tricky, I tell you. I 
Right, so we're not having a great time fishing there, are we? Got 127 kilograms of, uh, of lobster for a full day's work. Shishkabang. All right, I think what we need to do then is use our brain a smidge. Now look at that. That to me looks like lobster. <laughs> it really does. I don't know if it is lobster. What's on this thing? Oh, that's my boat. <laughs> that was my boat. How embarrassing. I thought that was a lobster. So there's nothing... So that's 50 metres. So there's no sign of any crab or lobster or anything within a thousand metres of this ship. So let's go somewhere else. I I wonder if that is breaking. Let's go there. Let's experiment. Yeah, as soon as I go there, it crashes the game. Damn. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to fish for uh, lobster whilst that thing is still there. 